Christmas, everyone. I am out here at one of the places that I'm fortunate to have access to, uh, a cabin in the woods, and it's somewhere I love to come. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and I'm able to spend some time with God. So as I'm out here uh, today before Christmas, I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas as you're watching this today. I wanted to talk today about uh, following up from last night when we talked about people seeing things that maybe others didn't. This year, when I looked at the top song for 2022, it was Taylor Swift's song, Antihero. And it's a song about someone struggling with, uh, with depression, with their behavior, with discouragement. And part of the chorus says, Hi, it's me, I'm the problem, it's me. And I think that song has struck a chord with a lot of young people who are feeling uh, how this song describes the person's struggles. And it's probably not just young people, it's a lot of people. And the interesting thing is, it's not a new thing to be experiencing. It's not a new feeling to be wrestling with. The Psalms are full of people that are struggling with discouragement, despondency, uh, and even forms of depression. And I wanted to read for you uh, one of the verses from Psalm 40, where the psalmist is struggling with feeling like they're in the pit of life. And then they say, God lifted them out of the pit. And this is what the psalmist wrote <clears throat> in verse 3. He has given me a new song to sing. A hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. A new song, many will see what God is doing and they'll put their trust in him. So I think God has given us a new song to sing. We have the original song of salvation in Christ. And as we celebrate Christmas in the incarnation, we recognize that what Christ has done for us by offering salvation to everyone. So that's an old song. It's a beautiful song. And it's a song that is still relevant and applicable to every single person today. But I also think God gives us new songs from season to season. New songs to sing. New songs to uh, enjoy and to participate in. So what is that new song, you might ask? Well, I think Advent has answered that question for us. It's a new song of hope and of love and joy, and peace, the things that we've been looking at all through this Advent season. And it's my encouragement that not only would you be able to sing this new song in your own life, but that we could sing this new song together. We have a history at New Life of attracting people who are seeking out spiritual things, who are seeking out God. And I think where there's this wonderful opportunity before us to embrace the new song that God is leading us into. As we reflect on 2022, we remember uh, a season of coming through COVID and of steadfastness and uh, feeling assurance from God that all things will be well. And I encourage you to look back this year and enjoy the last stanza of this new song as we finish off this year, or the last stanza of this old song as we finish off this year. And then look to the new song that God is inspiring us to sing. As you look back on 2022, enjoy the song we've been singing this year, a song of, of steadfastness, and commitment and rebuilding of community. And then look for the new song that God is leading us to sing together. And if you're having difficulty hearing the melody or hearing that song, just keep singing the one that God's given to you. And he'll take all of our, all of our melodies and weave them together into a beautiful harmony. And we'll sing that song together. And singing the song together, the new song that God has given us, is the opportunity for people to then see what God is doing and be amazed as they experience the harmony of hope and love and joy and peace among us. 
Our theme for Advent has been O Little Town, using the Advent Guide from BIC, Be in Christ Canada. And it's been amazing to go through with you. And that Christmas carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie, how still we see. Last night we looked at people being able to see beyond just what's in front of them to what God is doing. And as we continue to sing the song God has given us, I think people are going to be amazed at what God is doing. And so it's my prayer for us this Christmas that God would give us a new song to sing, a song of praise to our God, and that many would see and be amazed at what the Lord is doing, and that they would put their trust in Him. Merry Christmas. Bethlehem, how still we see the light above thy deep and dreamlessly. The silent stars go by, yet in thy dark streets shine the everlasting light. And fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. To sleep the angels keep the watch of wandering love. O oh, morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to Silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of His hand. No. Dear Christ, enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born to us today. We hear the Christmas angel, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us. Our Lord, Amen.